What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel that's PC Tech, Games and Gear. And today we're doing more Ryzen 2200G testing. Can you stream with just the APU and no dedicated graphics card? So I really wanted to push this as far as I can. My testing uh, methodology will be linked in the description below. But just kind of a quick sum up, I'm using OBS. Um, the uh, bitrate was 3500, I messed around with the different CPU speed presets. And outside of that, uh, all games were played at 1080p and streamed to 720p, which would be realistic for someone who was uh, streaming basically to something like Twitch. Now, in terms of the testing, um, I wanted to originally test a bunch of games, but I ran into a ton of problems. So let's talk about the games that worked. The very first game I tested was Overwatch, as this is a highly played esports title. Um, at the lowest graphical settings, we're able to get 60 FPS, and then even with the stream, um, this was at uh, very fast for the CPU preset. You can see in kind of this uh, basically action scene, I'm not able to get a consistent stream. Um, I would say for moving to um, very or super fast or whatever the second from the top one is, and then going to ultra fast or the fastest preset, I was able to get a consistent stream. This obviously isn't great graphical quality, but if you really want to be able to stream and you're willing to sacrifice on essentially quality of graphics, looks like you're pretty much able to do it. Now, going to an esports title like Dota 2, I am at medium settings, I'm able to get 100 FPS, which was really nice. And then in terms of streaming, we're able to also get a consistent stream at the highest preset for the CPU speed in OBS. Now, I wanted to kind of push it, so I decided to go to high graphics, um, which cut my FPS in half and promptly gave me a black screen. After rebooting and trying to get into basically a bunch of other games, including Battlefield 1, The Witcher 3, Battlefield uh, or Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then um, PUBG, None of those games would work with streaming whatsoever. The second I started streaming, the entire system crashed. And after a while, I was getting actually blue uh, screen of death loops over and over and over just on boot up. I had to reset my CMOS. And, uh, you know, initially I wanted to leave everything overclocked, but overclock wouldn't work with any of these games with streaming whatsoever. So I took the overclock off of the CPU, which meant that that's why you saw those testings. They were all at stock. I was able to leave the RAM overclocked if you were wondering why that was on higher speed because that didn't seem to mess with any of the testing or didn't at least uh, give me a system crash. So, you know, in terms of streaming, guys, the question is, can you do it? Depending on the title, sure, and you're able to get a consistent stream if you're willing to sacrifice on graphical quality. Not all games are going to work, obviously, and I can't tell you how many problems. Apparently, there are a ton of problems right now with these APUs, not just constrained to streaming, um, completely determined by things like motherboard and just kind of luck of the uh, die. Like, I can't use Ryzen Master or Relive on mine whatsoever. It doesn't work, but other people's systems, it does. So it's just one of those things where your miles may vary. But to say that, uh, to say that this testing was um, frustrating would be as big of an understatement as saying like Blake Lively is attractive, Hugh Jackman is in great shape, and you know, PCs are way better than Apple. That's right, Apple fans, come at me. As far as for um, if you should be streaming with this, you know, APU, sure, depending on the title, I don't see any problem with it, but just don't like blow on it, right? Don't breathe heavily near it, you know, don't shake the table. If it works, just like leave it, leave it be basically. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and, live and uh, leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed. My channel is blowing up, guys. It is so fun to see. Um, I put a challenge forth at the beginning of the year that I wanted to be at like a thousand subscribers in a month. I'm now about to hit 5,000. And for you guys who don't know, um, I've, I'm doing giveaways. I, I love to do them because I think it's valuable to the community that watches me. And it's always just, it, you know, it's always nice to just be able to give stuff away when I can. So when we hit 5,000, we're going to do another giveaway. But if you haven't already entered the giveaways, there's three of them on my channel going on right now. They're all down in the description below. Make sure to enter that. And for you guys who have used my affiliate links, I can't tell you how much I continue to appreciate that. Um, it's going to go, all that money is going to go right back to my channel, guys. So if you're buying anything on Amazon that's PC related or you're shopping around on Amazon, use my link. That directly supports my channel every single time you do it. So just remember me when you're, you know, buying your parts or whatever it is. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, guys. Outside of that, um, you guys uh, have any questions, leave a comment. And we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.